Hello everyone, this is Dragonold, and welcome to part 2 of House for the Burrow in Minecraft. And so, if you have not watched part 1, there will be a link in the description and a card in the top right hand corner. But basically, in that video, we built the base of the burrow, and today, we're going to add on the upper floors. And so, make sure to press that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and let's get straight into it. And so, the first thing we're going to do is build up 6 blocks from this corner right here, so 1, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then repeat that onto this corner over here. So once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then very simply come across seven blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there should be an extra block on the end. And very simply just go ahead and fill out this wall over here, coming out seven blocks from this pillar just like so. And so that wall will go on just there, and then we just need to fill out the back wall as well. So once again, just go ahead and fill out this back wall with some stripped oak logs, just like this, going all the way along, just like so. And then finally on the third side right here, we're just going to go ahead and add on that wall as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks just there. And then just once again, come out all the way along to fill up the wall. And that will look just like that. And then what we're going to do is to grab ourselves some oak planks and then come across to this corner right here and build out seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then in between these two lines right here, just go ahead and build a beam across just like so. And then to make sure there's no hole in the floor, we're going to need to go ahead and fill this area in with some oak planks just like so. And then on top of this, what we're going to do is build up by five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's go ahead and do that all the way around the entire area. Just like so. And that area will look just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and add in some supports. And so grab yourself some andesite walls and go ahead and build up upon these andesite blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Just like that. And then the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three three, four, five, just like that. And then go ahead and place in two here, and then one block there, and then the same thing on the other side, two here, and then one block there, just like that. And then the burrow is kind of crookedy, and so we're gonna go ahead and add in an extra line of blocks going along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then go ahead and switch some stripped oak logs, and go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then let's go ahead and add on the next floor. And so come to this block right here and come across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, just like that. And then come across six blocks along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then come back six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then fill in a beam between these two lines right here, just like that. And then on top of this square right here, go ahead and put up eight more blocks with some stripped oak logs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just go ahead and build this all the way around, just like so. And that will look just like this. And then go ahead and come to the front and come across to the center, and then go ahead and build up three more blocks. So one, two, three, and then the same thing on either side. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then an extra block in the middle, just like that. And then come down to this block right here and come back four blocks. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then a block right here. And then very simply go ahead and build up three more blocks on top of all of these blocks along here, just like so. And then another block right here, just like that. And so there we go. That is the main body of the burrow. And now all we need to do is add on all the roofs and the windows. And so come to this large opening right here and come along and place in some spruce stairs going all the way along in a very simple pyramidal pattern going all the way along, just like so. And so come along just like this. And then instead of bending around on this block, place in one more block and then bend around along here, just like this, so that this block right here is overhanging this block over here. And then continue this along until it does come along just right here. And then very simply, all you need to do is just go ahead and repeat this roof pattern all the way along in a very simple pyramidal pattern. And that roof will go on just like this in a very simple pyramidal pattern going all the way along. And there should be a one block wide gap in the middle. And very simply, just go ahead and fill that up with some spruce slabs just like that. And then for the roof at the top right here, come across and place in some stairs right here. And then very simply, just come across and loop them all the way around, just like so. Coming all the way around on this side as well, coming all the way along. And then on the final face, coming along and then coming to a stop once you get in front of this area right here. 
And then very simply just go ahead and place in some spruce slabs on top of all of these oak blocks right here, going all the way along just like so. And those will wrap around just like that. And then finally, go ahead and place in some more slabs just on top of all these gaps going along just like so. And there we go. That is our roof there now done. And so for the roof at the very, very top, go ahead and place in a line of slabs going all the way across. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a line of stairs along here, and then a line of stairs below, just like that. And then the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then create an overhang. So two here, and then a slab there, and then the same thing on the other side. So two here as well, just like that. And so, those will be the roofs on just like that. And then now what we need to do is to add on all those decorative parts. So the windows and the balcony at the back. And so the first part of the balcony is actually the chimney going all the way up. And so come to this block right here and put up 11 blocks with some polished andesite. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, just like that. And then with some andesite stairs, place it upside down, creating a loop all the way around, just like so, just like that. And then on top of these ones, go ahead and place in a ring of andesite stairs going all the way around, just like this. And then place in a campfire here, and then a brick wall on top, just like that. And then for the balcony itself, go ahead and place in an andesite block right here, and then three andesite slabs along, just like that, and then an andesite block at the end, and then come across and place in two andesite slabs just there, and then place in an andesite block just there, and then two slabs here, and then a block right there, just like that. And then place two walls here, and then two walls here just there, and then fill in the floor with some spruce slabs along, just like this, and then go ahead and place in a ring of birch fences going all the way around, just like so. And then place in one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and then one here, and then very simply what we're going to do is add on a very simple roof at the top just there. So one layer of stairs there, and then another layer of stairs right here going across just there, just like that. And then another one going across just here, just there. And then the same thing on the other side. So just here, just like that. And there we go. That is the balcony now done. And so finally to finish it off, of course, we need to add in some windows. And so for the front face right here, go ahead and break out one, two, three blocks just there, just like that. And then go ahead and place in a block just there, just like that. And then place in three white stained glass panes right there, just like that. And then beneath it, one stair here, one stair here, and then an analyte slab in the middle, and then three walls going up on either side, just like that. And then three polished granite stairs along here, just like that. And then for the floor above, place in three granite stairs right here, so one, two, three, and then break in a one by two area beneath, and then fill that up with some white stained glass. And then come down two blocks with some andesite walls, and then once again, a stair here, a stair here, and then an andesite slab in the middle, just like that. And then finally for the top floor, go ahead and place in one, two, three windows, just like that. And so there we have it, that is the front face now done. And so for this side right here, let's go ahead and start off with one, two, three granite stairs right there, and then break in a one by two area just there, and then come down two blocks with some andesite walls, and then once again, an andesite stair here, one here, and then a slab in the middle, just like that. And then for this side, something a bit different, there is another sort of balcony. And so come to this block right here and put out one, two, three blocks just there. And then again, one, two, three, just like that. And then place in a ring of fences going all the way around, just like that. And then one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then a stair here, and then a stair here, and then a slab in the middle, and a slab on top, just like that. And then go ahead and smash in a three by one window, just like that. And then for this section right here, come to this block right here and then smash in a 2x2 window right there. And then come across to this block right here and smash in a 3x1 window just there. And then around this window, go ahead and place in some spruce trapdoors wrapping all the way around just like so. Coming all the way around and just wrapping around the window just like so. And then finally, a 1x1 window right there just like that. And then coming around to the back, come across to this block right here and place in a three by one window just there. And then once again, just like on this side, go ahead and place in a ring of spruce trap doors going all the way around them, just like this. And then three granite stairs right there, and then two andesite walls beneath it, and then a stair, a stair, and then a slab, and then a one by one window in there, just like that. And then for the final side on the left, go ahead and place in three stairs along here. So one, two, three, 
and then come down three blocks with andesite walls. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then place in a stair here, a stair here, and then a slab in the middle, and then a three by one window in the middle, just like that. And then a two by one window right here. So one, two, and then two walls on either side, and then a stair, a stair, and then a slab, and then three granite stairs on the top, just like that. And then finally, the final window, come across and place in three stairs right here. And then once again, come down two wall blocks just there. And then once again, a stair, a stair, and then a slab. And then two white stained glass panes in the middle, just like that. And so here we go. This is the completed burrow. I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. Let me know down in the comment section which area you want me to do a tutorial of next. And I will make sure to build it in a video and then we'll do a tutorial afterwards and so if you would like any interior inspiration you can go ahead and check out my original burrow video when i build it and i do give a tour of my interior on the inside and you can use that if you want any ideas or you can go ahead and fill it out by yourself and so that's all from me from today i am very sorry there was a delay by one week i did have a very very busy week um life's getting really busy right now and so i will try my best to keep the every week schedule however occasionally i might just not have time to record a video and so i do apologize very much for that and so if you did enjoy the video make sure to press subscribe leave a like and then leave a comment and of course you can join my discord community the link is in the description and so that's all from me i'll see you guys next week when we will be starting the landscape tutorial for Hogwarts. And so, I'll see you guys all then.